Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Monday through Thursday, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. How are you? Now, you know when I am reading for the week, I am using my two Radley Valentine decks, my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. Also, I will pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal cards. Now, oh, do you want to stay? I think these might want to stay. Okay. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. Now, we got a lot, and I know we've gone through some of this, but this is some of this has new information. I would say from the 14th to the 24th, we're going to have, an ext we're going to have a lot of energy. Okay, It's going to be one of the most energetic times that we've had in a very long time. I'm not just even talking about this year. Um, you know, there is so much going on. There is um, the 14th. I've talked about that we have the new moon in Sagittarius. Okay. Well, we also have a complete, a total solar eclipse in the southern hemisphere. Um, I think it's on the east side of South America and it's on the southwest side of Africa and it will be in Antarctica that will be able to see this. But this is like pashui. This is like, let's push all that new energy. You know, I talked about Sagitt the new moon in Sagittarius. It's like burning away the old to prepare for that new. Now we also have on the 15th, we have Venus go going into Sagittarius. And that will be helpful. That will be helpful. But it's still kind of, you know, Venus is still kind of like looking for stuff there. We also have, this one is new, um, Chiron, who is the wounded healer, um, is going direct on the 15th. And after spending about eight months basically in retrograde motion, and the story behind that is that when retrograde goes deep into the hell, goes deep into Hades, goes deep into the underground. So there's a lot of things. But now going direct, he still has to work on getting out of there. But it is a more positive, more healing type of energy. Talked about the 17th. That's when Saturn goes into Aquarius. The 19th, Jupiter going into Aquarius. The 21st. First, we have Capricorn season beginning. We have winter solstice for the northern hemisphere, southern solstice for the southern hemisphere. We also have what's called the Great Conjunction happening, and that's going to be between Jupiter and Saturn. So lots and lots of strong stuff. So I'm not saying that. So I'm kind of saying like from that 14th to the 24th, not to say that it ends on the 24th, it will go, but I mean, there. this is going to be extremely intense. Knowledge is power. If you know this is happening, you will be able to navigate better through this. Okay? Okay. Anyway, let's go on and see, because you know what? We still need to live our lives. We still need to wake up every day, take our showers, get dressed, and do the things we need to do. So let's see what... And, I, and again, I'm not saying it's negative energy. I'm just saying it's really extreme energy. Let's see what we have for my Virgos for Monday through Thursday. Reversed cards have a little stronger energies themselves. So let's see. This is the Queen of Gabriel. And I have been saying this. I've been saying this to Capricorn and to Taurus. This is, I do feel this is the time that my, that my earth energies and you, you know, you in particular will be standing up, standing in your power. You're going to be kind of like not, I don't, I feel like you're not taking any nonsense. You're just like, nope, 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 nope. You know, again, this could be, you know, I don't care. You know, I don't care if, uh, you know, that you don't, you know, maybe you're going to be the one that says, hey, you got to get out of bed. You got to get to work. You still have to live your life. You still have to do what needs to be done. Now, the queens have a water energy underlying, okay? So it's emotional. It's that, you know, that Scorpio, um, Pisces, uh, Cancer. So there is that emotion. But the Gabriel energy is fire energy. So there's also, yeah, I understand, but we got to get this done. 
So if there are people around you that aren't, you know, if this is at your work, and maybe they're just kind of being a little sluggish, they're being a little bit irritable, it's kind of like, hey, everybody refocus, let's get what we need to get done, done, okay? Also, the Queen of Gabriel is also telling you to have confidence in yourself. Your confidence level in the last year has been like riding the waves in many ways. You know, you know, and sometimes there's been this push forward and then there's this push backwards, there's this push forwards. Again, like the waves. It's like, okay, these are really strong, but oh, maybe I need to run away. Oh, this is really strong. But part of but that's because you've been, you know, you've been um there's, you know, like everything, many times over, we can be very reactive to what's going on around us. And many times over, we can be very proactive. This is you being very proactive for this week. Okay, you going after those things that you love, that you want, that need to be done. And again, this is very proactive energy. This is you, you know, maybe you're going to be harnessing all of this and you're, it's going to push you forward. There's also this thing like, you know, darn it, no, this is, I'm done with this type of energy too. So, the Queen of Gabriel is passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. Okay, let's see what this card says. Here we are. The Ace of Michael. So Michael energy is our air energy. So that's our Aquarius. There's stuff going on with Aquarius right now. Um, in many, many ways, once we get past this time, um, and then there's something going to happen with Pluto, but we're not, I'm not going to get there yet. But once we get past this time and whatever this is, you know, there's, you know, I cannot tell you if we are going into the age of Aquarius, but we are going into an age of Aquarius. And that's where things just, you know, it, it, it's going to be a total different mindset with that. Now, so Michael is about the mindset. Michael is about Aquarius energy, Gemini energy. It's also Libra energy. You know, and it's your thoughts, it's your hearing your new ideas, it's your processing, it's your thinking, it's your strategizing. Aces have that new beginning, new idea type of thing. So with this, I feel like you being my, you know, you for this week at least, you're going to be seeing things very clearly. You're going to be seeing how you can possibly make things happen for that positive. You're going to be, um, you know, I mean, you're, you're going to be just kind of like changing your dynamics, changing your paradigm, changing um, just, you know, I just feel a lot of, it, well, there's a lot of intellectual too, but there's a lot of this energy. And I think that's part of that, that queen, that Gabriel energy, but also the Michael energy too. But I, I just feel like there's this re renewal, resurgence, rebuilding of a lot of confidence and a lot of, again, I'm not taking it. I'm going, I'm doing what I need to do. Um, so I, I really feel this is very strong for you, my Virgo. So you might, again, this energy, it's, it's got to be massive. And it could be pushing you in a very positive way. Anyway, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So people may not, people that might have dismissed your um, message, dismissed your, um, when, you know, have you ever said things to a room of people and, all, and you're like, I, I don't know that I'm, are they hearing me? Are they hearing me? I feel that this time, for this, again, at this time, you, your message is going to get through. They're going to hear you. They're going to hear you. Here you go. Your last card. The seven of Michael. Again, it's that Michael energy. And remember, sevens have that divine umbrella. That's kind of like you do what you need to do and then give it up. And remember, my Virgos, you're very spiritual, so you do have a very strong divine connection it gets in the way sometimes with your earth logical, your logical sign, side, your logical side, but it, you know, you do have this very strong connection with this. So this is about, you know, again, you do what you need to do, and a little bit of this is about giving up a little bit control too. Okay, and that might be hard. That might be hard. But there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So again, you know, I mean, you know, besides they're going to, I do feel like they're going to hear you. Your message is going to get through. 
I do feel you may have to give a little, give up a little control, but not in that natural side, um, kind of more to that spiritual side, kind of like, you know, I've done the best I can, you know, higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine archangels. I've done what I can do. I'm going to need you to, you to kind of step in here. Okay? So, um, the thing that, the, one of the reasons why we don't do that more is to do with our own hubris, our own pride. Um, you know, we, you know, and part of it is also we think that we should be able to do stuff. And, we, and many times we do, but sometimes it's, again, okay, you want to come out? Sure. Many times, again, it's like, I need, I need some interaction here. This one is reversed. Let's see what this is. This is the three of air. Now, the three of air has an interesting energy too. So air is Michael. This is also the swords. This is that heart. You know, that, that the one that goes, oh, can you, can you just pick another card in traditional tarot? It's the heart with the three swords in it. Part of that is, you know, it's kind of facing, facing your pain, feeling your pain, living through your pain. The thing is, though, this is not fresh pain, okay? So this is not going to necessarily, even though you're doing what you need to do, you know, it's not necessarily saying that this is going to be an easy time, but it's not going to be easy for many people. But that heart with the swords in it, it's not fresh hurts. That's the thing. It's, it's past hurts that need to be moved and resolved, need to be thrown away, need to be, but actually worked through maybe, worked through it, and then let it go, okay? You know, um, you know, it's kind of, you know, there's also that thing about, you know, there's that, poem I have no idea who did this but yesterday's history so let it go I mean you gotta learn from it you know yesterday's history tomorrow's a mystery today's a gift that's why we call it the present I like that anyway with that you know that's kind of like you know letting you know kind of acknowledge it work through it because you know pain pain you know healing does hurt okay work through it let the wound heal, and again with Chiron, past wounds. So you might feel Chiron's energy coming to bring up those past wounds that you needed to deal with still, and I hate to have to deal with that, but then, you know, live in the moment, live in the day, okay? Okay, this, this is probably going to be more with Chiron's energy, but anyway, this is great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself or others. Otherwise, you know, there, I mean, there's going to be kind of that, that public face that you show, and then there's going to be that private heart or private face that you don't show, okay? So it doesn't mean that as you're, you know, so, but for my Virgos, what people perceive is important to you. So what they're seeing, they're seeing strength. You may not feel strong, but they're seeing strength, and that is wonderful for you because, you know, that's what you want to know, okay? Okay, so I almost forgot this, my, my crystal card. So sorry, my Virgos. I'm going to try to edit this in, and hopefully I can do it fairly seamlessly. It won't be, but hopefully. Anyway, let's see what crystal may be helpful for my Virgos Monday through Thursday. Now, I do have to put my glasses back on here. This one is reversed. If you have it, you may want to carry it with you. Put it at your bedside. Here we go. Amber. Amber. Okay, that's come out a couple of times for this, this time period. Amber, harmony, home protection, calm, attracts love. Anyway. <sighs> so, my Virgos. If you, again, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button. Like, share, subscribe. As always, my Virgos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.